Hello and welcome to Nordic Stories. This is the March edition from the National Nordic Museum in Seattle, Washington. This month we're featuring a picture book from Norway and this is the story called Why Dogs Have Wet Noses. And you may have heard stories before that explain why animals are a certain way. And here's our dog today. You might have a dog at home and you could feel its nose and see if it's wet. Why? Well, we'll have to read the book to find out. Before we do that, let's learn a couple words in Norwegian with some friends today. Hello, my name is Sarah and we have two special friends here today. They're going to teach us some words in Norwegian and their names are Dylan and Danica. So hi. Thanks for coming today. Hey. Hey. Welcome. So exactly, if I were to say hello, Dylan, how would I say that in Norwegian? Hey. 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 Can you say that at home? Yeah. Hey. Great. Hey. Yeah. And then if I were to ask someone, how are you? Uh, Danica, how would I ask that? Fordan Haruda. Vordan Hardude. Okay. Vordan Hardude. Is yeah. that pretty good? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Can you say it at home? Okay. Super. Yeah. Now, the book today is a story about a dog with a nose that's wet. So we're going to learn the word dog and nose. So uh, Dylan, how would I say the word dog in Norwegian. Hun. 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 Can you say it at home? Yeah. All right. Hmm. And then what about nose? Danica, how do I say nose? Nessa. 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 Can you say that at home? All right. And then if I were to say, uh, have a good day, how would I say that in Norwegian? Hade. 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 Okay. You say it at home? Yeah. All right. And then, of course, if you wanted to say goodbye, how do you say goodbye, Danica? Adieu. 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 Thanks, Danica and Dylan. Adieu. 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 And now for our story, Why Dogs Have Wet Noses. And this is written by Kenneth Stephen, illustrated by Ovind Torsetter, and it's read with permission from Enchanted Lion Books. Why Dogs Have Wet Noses. A long, long time ago, not long after the world began, it started to rain. Can you make the rain come down with your fingers like this? It was the kind of rain that really soaks you, pouring down from the sky like it will never stop. Whoa, now can you make the sound of rain by patting on your knees like this? Can make the pitter pat of the raindrops. Can use both hands and do it fast like this. That's how hard it was raining. At the same time, there lived a man named Noah, who was watchful and wise. It was so that the clouds gathered overhead and the storm 
rumbled, he began to build a lifeboat. He used enormous trees to make it and called it the Ark. Now, can you see? This is the boat. The big pink part. And these are the scaffolds that he built. So he would climb up the ladder to get higher and higher to build the boat out of wood. Noah went far and wide to gather together as many creatures as he could remember. He even invited, can you see all the animals? Slugs, spiders, and other creepy crawlies, bugs that most people would get rid of by stomping them with their foot or squishing them with their thumb. He put them onto the ark. Well, that was good. You can see some more of the bugs, all the creepy crawlies. I see this one has suitcases. Here comes a worm. Last of all, a dog paddled on board. He was such a funny mixture that it was hard to tell what exactly he was. But there could be no doubt about his dog's nose, which was soft and black. Noah invited so many animals on board that the ark gave a great groan and tilted to one side. Whoa! Noah held his breath, afraid that the boat was so big and so heavy that it would never float. They waited as the rain poured and poured and the waters rose. Okay, ready? Do your rain again. Shh! Can you pat your knees? Pat them fast! It's raining so hard! At last, a mighty wave rolled towards them, lifting the lifeboat. Despite its great weight, the ark floated. Their voyage into the unknown began. So off they go. Whoosh. They sailed away. Land had long since vanished. Only the sea and the sky remained. The rain fell heavier and heavier. Okay, heavy, heavy, can you pat your knees? And lightning shot from the big black clouds, gleaming like snakes' tongues. But apart from the crashing sounds of rain and thunder, it was completely quiet. As there were no other sounds left in the whole wide world. Now let's look at the inside of the boat. Look at all of the things going on inside the boat. They have all kinds of different spaces and places for them to do different things. I can see all the things happening in the boat with all the animals. Inside the ark, it was another story. There was noise. There was the noise that never stopped, not even at night. For if the parents, parents, parrots weren't shrieking, arr, arr, the hyenas were howling or the bears were growling arr, and Noah had no peace, not even a wink of sleep. He was too busy finding hay for the horses, hazelnuts for the squirrels, and unmentionable things for the pythons. Ooh, hmm, what does a python eat? Hmm, looks like lollipops. Because no sooner had the last animal had dinner and gone to sleep than it was time for the first one to have breakfast again. Eating, eating, eating. All the animals are eating different foods. Poor Noah. He has to work so hard. 
After they had been out on the ocean for 20 days, something terrible happened. The ark sprang a leak. <gasps> oh no, here it is. The water is shooting in. Shh. Oh no, it was coming from a hole that was no bigger than a chestnut. <laughs> Not much in a boat that's half the size of a football field, but before Noah had time to shout for help, there was water everywhere and a rabbit had to be rescued. What in the world are we going to do? Noah said to his dog. They needed a plan fast. Oh no, there's Noah down here with the dog looking at the hole. The crocodile kind of likes it though, right? What is this pig doing? Diving into the water. So he thought, hmm, and said, we'll fix this. Ah, oh, Eureka! Thunk. Don't worry. Look, the dog's nose. The monkeys shrieked, the donkeys brayed, the mice clapped their little paws, and Noah and his wife danced for joy. The ark had been saved! Look who's saving the ark! The dog! With? The rain fell for 40 days and 40 nights, and the ocean stretched as far as the eye could see. But since Noah's dog loved his master, he stayed completely still with his nose in the hole, day and night. And as the water washed up over his nose, not a single drop came into the ark. And then one early morning, the dog caught a scent of something else. Hmm, interesting. Through the water? Whoa! Clunk! I think they crashed. I think they crashed into something. Land! <gasps> Hills rose up into the mist and behind them there was a tiny bit of blue sky. The rain had stopped. At last there was a magnificent rainbow across the sky. Oh, look what happened when they crashed. All the animals got bumped in the ark. But do you still see the dog is down here? They crashed into land right here. They'd reached land. What a beautiful sight it was. Once more, all kinds of things were growing upon the earth. Do, do, do. They all get off the boat. Wow, they're back on land. But look, Who's still down in the bottom of the boat? Where is it? Oh no! But Noah remembered. <gasps> Wait, I'm coming! Oh, my dog, my dog! He goes down the stairs. Oh no, I'll save you! And plunk, he takes his nose out of the hole in the ark. <sighs> Noah gently stroked his dog's tummy. Good boy, he whispered. Woof, the dog replied, leaping up to give his master a kiss on his wet nose, with his wet nose. <sniffs> Never again would Noah or his dog have to go to sea, but from then on, every dog in the world would have a wet nose. And that is the end. So that's why dogs have wet noses. Welcome to the craft portion of Nordic Stories. 
And today we're going to be putting together some pieces that will create a dog that's a puppy card. You could use it as a card or a toy that has ears and it can play peekaboo. So what you'll do is you'll download a file and it's two pages and you can print it out if you have colored paper or you can print it out on just plain white paper and then you can transfer the shapes onto your different colors by just outlining them. So you see that I had to flip my sheet around to get it printing and each uh, object in the print file will tell you what color if you do have a printer that you can co do color printing or have colored paper. If you have um, glue, scissors, that's what you'll need. And then if you have cardstock, it helps, but you don't have to if you don't have cardstock. So once you've printed out your items and either trace them onto your color paper or they're already on your color paper, you're just going to cut out the shapes where there's any solid line. And then when you see dotted lines, that's where you're gonna fold. And you're gonna fold in towards the dotted lines. And then you can crease it by just going down um, with something like the back part of your scissors or something like a um, butter knife to create that crease. All right, so there's one tricky cut that's right in the middle, and this is the slit where the puppy's tongue is gonna come out of the card. So you'll definitely need help from a big person to cut out that shape. So sometimes I lay it down flat and I might cut on something soft, or I do very carefully a beginning poke through one end, and then I just take my scissors and cut along that slit. Okay and then just flatten it out again. All right, so once you've done all your folds, and you'll do these folds right here too. There's two tiny ones so that the ears will be bending over. You'll do those ones and one on this one. Then you'll have all your pieces. There's a red tongue, there's a black nose, there's a blue body the orange ears, and this yellow part of the body in this too. And then you can take a white piece of paper. If it's cardstock, that's great. Otherwise, just printer paper and fold it in half to make your card base. And that's what you're going to glue your puppy dog down on. So the first thing you'll do is you'll see this little space right here is where you're going to put some glue and that's where the tongue is gonna go. So you're just going to put the glue down and attach the tongue. Just like that. Semi-circle to the bottom of the blue piece, leaving it flush just like that and put the words towards the back so the words are not showing. This down here. And then you'll feed the tongue through the slot from the back. Remember we attached it like this. And here it comes. And then you're going to move to this piece and you're going to put glue all around the outside edge because that is going to go on top and in the center of the blue piece. So again, you're gonna glue the part that has the words because that's the place that will face down. You're just gonna do it around the edges because in the middle, you'll actually need the tongue to stick out. So do the glue all around the edge. And then this goes on top like that. Press it down, except for don't glue down by the tongue. So now you can start to see what the card looks like when it gets put together. And so 
Remember that from the back, I actually learned that this tab doesn't get glued down until the very end. So you just have fed through the red tongue, folded things over, and then glue along this edge so that it sticks down on your paper and line up your eyes behind those ears. I'm just going to put a little glue on these corners to keep just the yellow head down on top of the paper, but don't glue down on the bottom where the tongue is. And I've made some eyes so you can see that the eyes are there. And I'm just going to kind of line this up and then press it down. And then you take your white piece of paper, that's your card, and that's where you'll take the yellow tab, bend it over the top, and glue it onto the back of your white card. Kind of make it in the middle. And then you'll flip your card over. And these tabs will go under. And you glue those down. And then if you need to trim around the white, you can. And don't forget the last thing to do is to put your nose in the middle. Because remember, dogs have wet noses, don't they? So put the puppy dog nose right there. And let's give it a test and see if it works. Look at that, you pull on the tongue. Peekaboo, peekaboo. You can play with your card and you could even write something on the inside and if you want to trim around the white part you can do that and it becomes a dog peekaboo card so i hope you enjoyed the craft today thank you